right, today we're going to look at Sapinski again, but we're going to do a 3D pop-up of this one, so like, like this on here. Get a better picture of it. See here. Now this is probably one of the most difficult ones we've done, so I've been saving this for a bit later on. It's not an easy task to do, but if you do it carefully and work steadily through, the systems approach I've been teaching you all along about we do one bit, we don't look at the whole piece, we don't look at the whole of this and think, my God, how am I going to make this? We look at, how am I going to make this? How am I going to do this bit? And we do one bit at a time. So it never feels rushed, we're always in control. So we're going to start off by, as always with any work like this, we fold the paper in half. Now, it's important we get the middles of all these ones on here as we're working out. Now you can measure, and we've got here, we've got 210, so the middle's gonna be 105. As there'll be four when I showed you how to do these, if you do two dots, and then just draw yourself a line. Okay. And then we're gonna split this in half, which is 15 and 7.5 this bit here. We're now going to cut along this line. And carefully fold up till this line touches the top line. And the nails down it get a really good. Inverse fold onto there. So I'll just squish it to the same around, and we've got our first stage iteration of the fractal onto here. This bit here. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a very similar thing again. But we're going to try to teach each of these, treat each of these as separate pieces. So we've got one sheet there, one sheet here. So I'm going to measure this again. After a while, you don't need to measure because you'll be able to forget them. So there's going to be 5.25. Once there, the distance is 7 and a half. This bit's here. Now we're going to fold these in. So again, we fold up. So it touches the line there, halfway along. And we're going to fold the double up on this one. And tilt it up again. And reverse fold these two. Reverse fold. Push it down and we've created four steps. I just go over with my nail as I always do, just to make sure that it is nice and creased. And if we open this up, we're starting to see the first part of this come together. Into there. So we're going to close it back up again. And again, we're always working for the, the folded end, not the open ends onto here. We're going to fold them. I'm just going to now sort of like roughly guess it's on here. Okay, so I've folded all these up now. So these are going to be, if you look, I've done on this line here, this line there. So they are virtually half. You'll obviously see the top one there. You're not going to get as accurate one because you can see they're just separating off a little bit because of the thickness of it. So just undo them all. And this bit is tricky. You just have to take your time and work your way through it. So we've got the next iteration of Sapinski's fractals. 
onto here. You can see it's coming into nice line. But I'm gonna do one more in this video. Obviously you can go you can go on forever again like this. It gets smaller and smaller. But I'm just gonna do one more on these ones just to show you how to do that. So again, half along each step. And this one I'm going to go half one way because it's so thick and then turn it over and I'm going to go half the other way onto there. Okay, so now open them all back up again. And start to unfold these. There we go. Now a very brave person would do these again and work your way through there again, but it is a lot of work onto there. They do look amazing if you can do them, but it's uh, for this one here, I'm just gonna keep it like this. And that is the fractal cut inside, different shadows. You can change the paper, color the paper, so get a contrasting color paper, and you back it onto another sheet, glue it on, glue the big triangles on here to them, so you've got a complete pop up onto here and then the shadows behind if you've got a different contrasting paper on there they, they show through and it looks pretty amazing okay so as I said this is probably the most complicated one we've done so far it is worth persevering and it, you would be really chuffed with yourself if you managed to make this so enjoy Rainbow Calculator, Rainbow Calculator.